All right, no time to explain, gang. Welcome back. King Zeph here, back with another unpack video for you guys. Happy Wednesday. I know it's been a little while since I opened something on the channel. Um, honestly, there hasn't been a whole lot that's released frequently. Um, I think the last thing that we did was the Lorcana opening, which was when I was able to get my hands on 24 blister packs because I couldn't get a booster box of that, which ironically, I do have a booster box on the way. Um, I did get lucky in the Amazon drawing, so a video of that will be coming whenever it arrives. But since we haven't done one of these in a while, and also I got my shipment from Japan that I've been waiting on for a little while, we're going to crack open the 2023 world premiere pack from the Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG, which is kind of weird that it came out pretty much at the end of the year. It's just like, hey, it's a world premiere, but it came out like two weeks ago, which is kind of weird. I don't know how Japan does that or anything like that, but just from looking at the cover of the box, which I'll show again real quick in the camera, um, this has some gold pride cards. It looks like Gate Guardian and then some goatee. So I'm sure that the packs that we got, the cards that we got in Maze of Memories, and a couple other cards might have been TCG exclusive for a little while, and they're now just coming to the OCG, or this is just a, a light reprint box, and I don't know. But most importantly, this box does contain the third piece of Exodia and the reprints of that. So hopefully we can get one of those. I would really love to end the year with at least one piece of the three available Exodia pieces. I would really love that for it to happen. Time will tell. We'll see if we get lucky or not. Um... Or if you pull the Quarter Century Secret Red Dark Magician Girl, I'll be happy with that too. But I really want to collect the Exodia pieces. Um, so I would really love to end 2023 at least owning at least one of the Exodia pieces. So we'll hopefully get that done. Hopefully we'll be able to pull that in one of these boxes. I do have the other two sets that I'll be opening up later in the week to see if we can pull that Exodia piece. Because I'll be personally getting that until I can't find an Exodia piece. So... We'll see. Luck is on my side. Unfortunately, I pulled a lot of other better cards, but I can't pull the ones I'm looking for, ironically. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, since it has been a while, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you do like this type of content or you're new to the channel. Welcome. We are welcoming here. We have a lot of different types of content. We stream every Wednesday. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh! content, a little bit of Lorcana content, music and anime content is available as well. So if you like it or you have friends and family that likes this type of content, send them to the channel. Show us a couple videos. And if you really like us, make sure you give us a, a follow, subscribe. A lot of you guys that watch the videos don't subscribe to, um, to us. We welcome you all. Please come and join us. We do like to do giveaways when we hit certain milestones or whenever we can do them. Um, so just be abreast of whenever we post new content. And we have more content coming and more planned for 2024. So do us that favor. Hit that button. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Hell, give us a dislike. We don't care. <laughs> Whichever ones that you want to do, tell us how you feel. If you like our channel, tell us we're trash. If you like us, like us. If you want to give us stuff to improve on, tell us as well. We're open to all suggestions and everything in, the, in between, so please just do something on that nature. But without further ado, do not make sure that this video is 30 minutes long or longer. Let's get this pack opening. So we have two boxes of the World Premiere Pack. Um, I believe there's 15 packs in these boxes. I believe it's 15, pa uh, 15 packs with seven cars per pack, if my math is right or if I remember these boxes correctly. Um, the OCG boxes, although more unique and they do have a lot of stuff in them um, sometimes, and well, this happens in the TCG too because the deck builder sets in the TCG um, will give you 24 packs in the booster box, but they'll only have seven cards instead of nine. Um, so it is, um, they do change it up from time to time. And then some things in the OCG, they only give you like four cards in the pack. I think the legendary collection, we got five in, in America. I think we only got maybe four or three in the uh, OCG, I can't remember exactly, but they do a little weird funky stuff where instead of getting a traditional nine card pack, you get a seven or a five or four, however they want to handle that one. But I do always love, unfortunately, although I can't read Japanese yet, I always have loved and appreciated um, how the OCG handles the card game. I love it a lot better than they do it in the TCG. I love the card stock better and how they have these random sets in between is always really really nice so i hope konami which they won't would take that same type of attention to detail in the tcg um the legend the rarity collection was a good start but i don't know so let's crack this one open break away pull tabs on this guy on these guys hopefully i don't bump my camera over and let's see what we get out of here so um i believe this card is goatee fury this is a trap um, this is one of the goatee monsters. I can't remember what it's called. I believe a lot of these goatee cards came out in 
Darkwing Blast, if my mind serves me correctly. It's either Darkwing Blast and Photon Hypernova. So we'll see you go, keep going on that one. This, I believe, is Pendulum something. I know this card, I, I've seen this card before. Um, there's another Goatee Trap card, followed by a Rare. This should be Ready, Set, Go, if my mind serves me correctly. This is a Gold Pride spell. But looks like we do get Rares in this pack. So unlike other ones, we'll get Super Rares only, or you'll get uh, Parallel Rare. Uh, looks like we do get rares in this one. So we should get ra all the rarities for the exception of... I don't believe this set had ultimate rares or collector's rares. I think it only had secrets and then the one quarter century. So we'll see how that goes. Um, don't remember what this card is. I feel like it's a Manadium card or it's a... Um, not Mech Knight. Crusadia Knight. But it's a Pendulum Monster for level uh, rank 11. So there's that. Ooh, this is the Spiral Double Agent. This card actually was... TCG in the 20, uh, 2023 tens. So the, uh, the tens that came out this year, this was one of the uh, new cards that came in that. So it's available in the TC and the OCG. So there we go. I don't know if this card came out in a previous set in OCG or not, but we got this card not that long ago, but right in September slash August. Um, this the field spell. This is for what is that? Um, Noble Knights, the Noble Knights spill, uh, field spell. Uh, followed by a, reg a regular Song of the Thunder. And our first Ultra Rare, which is Gold Pride, I believe this is Gold Pride Nitro Burst. I can't remember the exact monster this one is, but this is a Gold Pride card. So this is our first Ultra we pulled out of here. This should have been in Photon Hypernova, if my mind serves me correctly. That's either in Photon Hypernova or it was in the... Um, deck builder set that came following that one which i can't remember which one it was all the time and we had so many packs that came out in last year that i can barely remember which set came out in which but um i believe it came out of full-time hypernova so another gold pride um this is like the gold pride rollerball quick play spell Ooh, um more wait well, this isn't moria greed this is like a pot this is like moria greed with avarice what was this card it looks like one of the pot monsters because it actually has, as I break this one, it has um, uh, whatever that pod card is. Um, I'm t and I just as I forget which one is which, along with a, a combination of more ray, which more ray is right there in the corner in the back. So, oh. um, I don't remember which you are. I believe you're one of those uh, dessert monsters. Um, how did I get here? <laughs> I know this one. How did I get here? And then this is one of the dragons. I love how a bunch of these cards I've opened up on the channel. You guys have seen them in the, in the English packs, but I can't remember what they call it off the top of my head as of right now, because a lot of them I really haven't used. But um, I believe that's one of the Manadium dragons. Um, looks like a Manadium creature. This just looks like a giant rock rat. I've never seen this card before. Either that or I just braced it over in the past. Um, Go Pride Nitro. And then, oh, this is, what was the name of this Gate Guardian card? Um, yep, definitely can't remember. But I think it's Double Attack. And then here is our super rare. This is Gold Pride Rollerball. Yep, this is Gold Pride Rollerball and, and Super, followed by uh, Gate Guardian of Wind and Thunder and Rare. So it looks like they just, this is the set that they finally get the Gate Guardian cards in. So it looks like they were TCG exclusive the first half of the year. And then, because I've opened most of, I've opened half of the core sets in OCG and TCG. I know I've, I definitely opened them in TCG. I opened half of them up in OCG. Um, and then all of the special edition boxes I bought along, the, bought along the way. I've never seen any of these cards. So they might have just become available in the OCG. So I'm assuming this is probably just the pack that they get them in. Uh, so what was a Salamandrite um, Sorcerer, another one of the Goatees, Goatee Fury, I remember that card, Song of the Thunder again, followed by Gold Pride, what was her name, Captain, there's a Gold Pride Captain something, she was, I believe, was she an Ultra Rare? Yeah, she was the Ultra Rare in uh, Photon Hypernova. I said she wasn't a secret, because I don't think there were any secret rare Go Pride cards in Photon Hypernova. I think they were all rares and ultras. 
But yeah, but it's Gopar, um, Gopar Captain. I can't forget the uh, rest part of her name. There's that field spell again. Ooh, and I know the name of this card too, and I can't remember it off the top of my head right now either. I need to remember most of these cards. Either that or I need to learn Japanese. And there is our first secret rare. Gate Guardian. Uh, oh, God. I hate having to remember these darn names. This is the this is the this is the complete new Gate Guardian monster, the Gate Guardian Fusion, which allows you to summon any Gate Guardian monster in, um, out on the deck. I cannot remember what its actual name is. Is Gate Guardian something? I cannot remember what that full card's name is, and it's really bugging me. I'm tempted to open up. You know what? Give me two seconds. You know what? I say, give me a second. Gate Guardian. Oh, Water of Thunder. That's not it. I happen to have maze. I happen to have maze right next to me, so it's just like, okay, let me let me go pull it out and see if I can find it really quickly. And I can't. It's in here somewhere. This stupid deck builder pack. Like I said that name's gonna really bug me, and I know I'm gonna see it again. And it's gonna really make me mad. Gate Guardians combined. That's what it's called. So simple. I could have just figured that out on my own. Gate Guardians combined is the name of that card. So that way, to, that way, if I see it again, it doesn't drive me dri doesn't drive me nuts. Okay, um, another one of the Goaty monsters. I really don't care for those too much. Whatever that snake is, um, there's a Gold Pride spell. There's Kazijin, followed by what is it? Pixel Knight. Yep, I think it's Pixel Knight. I can't, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. This card came in a rare, and it was like, it's a card I see all, all the time. Another full time Vanilla card. I forgot, there was supposed to be something that you use that card with, and I can't remember what it is. But it was, I think it went to a deck that I didn't use anyway. All right, another Goti Trap. Uh, Ryo, uh, Ryoku Soul. Um, Ryoku Soul. I think it's what's called Ryoku Soul, because it was like, there was Ryoku. And then I think this is Ryoko Soul, but this is, goes with the Gate Guardian Creatures. Another Go Team Random card. Ooh, this is um, Mantis. Followed by... I haven't seen this card before. This is another, oh, this is another Go Pride card. It just looks weirder. But I don't recall seeing that one. Either that or once again, I've wiped my memory clean of it, and I don't remember what it's called, but... That one doesn't look familiar to me, so I don't know if that one's a newer card that we haven't gotten yet, or if it just came out in a set and I just kind of ignored it. Another Kazi Gene. Ooh, uh, Miracura, I think this one was, one of the dolphins. Uh, Go Pride S Start, or is it On Your Mark? Um, and then followed by a Super Go Pride, I can't remember the name of this one, but there was a Super on that one. And then this one is the other card that came in the tens. This is the Time Thief Reverse, I think is what this trap card is called. It's Time Thief Reverse. Time Thief something. But this is also the newer card that came in the ten. That was the other one. So it was that one, and then there was Spiral Double Agent. Those were the two. The only reason I remember that one more vividly is because I just cracked open a bunch of tens not that long ago. So I have those cards stuck in my brain, and some of them are actually right next to me. Um, you... I know you were in Photon Hypernova, but I can't remember what your name was. Uh, another Goatee Fury, Mirror Red, that Goatee, and this one as well. So pretty much a pack full of Goatee monsters. We are down to our last, was it six packs in the first box? No sign of an Exodia piece. We did pull a Secret Rare. Uh, looks like one Ultra and a bunch of Supers. Not many. Pendulum Circle, Gold Pride Nitro, Gold Pride Nitro Burst. Um... Whatever this card was, I remember, can't remember that one. And then this, I have no idea what this card is. Never seen this card in my life. Opening up the next pack. So yeah, I'm, I'm just taking this. This is the first time that they're getting some of these cards. Because like I said, I don't recall seeing them in the other packs. Maybe it's because I didn't open Photon Hypernova and OCG. They, I, I just don't notice them, but maybe I can look it up later on the fact. Salamon Great. Uh, train something. Another Gold Pride Trap. Garura. That's weird. I wasn't expecting to see you in here, but super. Followed by another Goatee Monster. The random insertion of a Garura. 
Is Guru a newer or just a pre? I feel like it's a reprint, but it might be newer. So I don't know, but mm, that's just a weird way to see Guru on that side. And there's the trap. There's another spiral double agent, labyrinth tank. Um, another gold pry card, and then this one is Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. So that way you use uh, Sui Gene and Kazi Gene. That one should be the spell negate, because I know one of them is a monster negate, the other one's a spell negate, and then the other one is just three negates. So that one should be the spell negate, if my mind serves me correctly. Alrighty. Another Gold Pride. The actual Gate Guardian, just in the common. Gold Pride start. Uh, Gold Pride. Ooh, I remember this card now, but I can't think of what his name is. Followed by a Ultra Goatee. Um, I don't remember the next, last part of this name card either. This card wasn't that great. This one, I think, what set this come out? I think this set came out in Darkwing Blast, if my memory serves me correctly. I think this card was definitely Darkwing Blast. Because Darkwing Blast was the set that came out with most of the goatee cards. So yeah, I would say it was Darkwing. It was either that or it was Power of the... No, it was Power of the Elements and Darkwing Blast. That particular one came in Darkwing Blast, but Power of the Elements was the first one to introduce the goatees. I, I'm beginning. My memory's coming back to me, finally. Sui Jean. So we got the last Gay Guardian piece. Number the train, another Goatee Fury. Ooh, Jirai Gumo uh, hit an attack. And then I know this card. I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. So that covers the very first booster box with those rares. Unfortunately, no sign of an Exodia piece. And the first time I actually put the stack the cards together and it feels like there's not a whole lot of them. This is just all the cards we pulled out of it. That's not a holographic card. It feels a little lackluster. So either this, these packs are not as loaded, or I'm going crazy. I think it might just be because of the fact that the L1, there's not that many cards in this pack, and there's only 15 packs instead of like 20 or something. But moving on to the next. And then we have another Goatee, the Go Pride, Mirror Mad, followed by that, and then followed by this random spell card once again. We're not doing so hot. Come on now. All we need is an Exodia piece. Any, just the one Exodia piece, and that would make this so much better. Go Pride Natural Fury, Go Pride Robot, another tip of the train, followed by or another rare of the Goatees. Yeah, any, just the Exodia piece would make this so much better. I don't even know how much the, well, one, because I, I haven't seen them in the singles, and I refuse to go on eBay to look for them, because I kind of feel like eBay allows you people, well, eBay isn't really, you have to do a lot of research before you start buying singles on eBay compared to like TCG player and you can't buy OCG stuff on TCG player reliably. And another one of those. So I haven't really looked into it so much. And plus um, Yugi Market, the place where I get all of my OCG stuff from, they haven't started selling singles and the newer stuff just yet. So I can't even tell you how much it's supposed to cost or how much it might be worth. Um, we'll find out when we find out because if it was cheaper just to buy them singles, I would, but so far, I cannot, so followed by super rare, another one of the goatees, and then a rare of whatever that card was once again. Next pack. But there's also the quarter century secret rare. There's one QCR in this set, and that's for the Dark Magician Girl. It should be the dark side of the dimensions art of that card. That'll be the QCR in this particular set. There's only one. Just like a lot of them only have one holographic rare, this only has the one QCR. Um, so either one of those two, another Gold Pride Ultra Rare. This one I haven't seen before. This is that has Captain and then another one. I haven't seen this one before at all either. So maybe one, that's one that's coming down the pipeline too, or it's just one that I've just ignored. I feel like I've seen all the ones in the TCG because they, they have very memorable art. So if there's one I haven't seen yet, that means it's definitely on the newer side. And it's one that we'll be getting probably in one of the next couple sets. We'll see. All right, keep it moving. Another Mantis. And then Goki Pond. Not looking so hot. Come on. One of you packs needs to have an Exodia piece and just have it in it, please. Don't do us like this. Goki Fury, Kazi Jean, Spellbound. This card was reprinted in the tin. This definitely came out in. Was this Darkwing Blast? Yeah, this is Darkwing Blast, but this was a secret rare in Darkwing Blast. It was an Ultra in the tin, so. Okay. Followed by. This is Gay Guardian of Thunder and Water. So Sui Jean and Sangha. Alrighty, last couple packs. Come on. 
We haven't pulled a secret rare in this in this particular box yet. I don't know if we're gonna guaranteed one or not, but we will see. I'm really, really hoping that we pull at least one of the two. Spiral and go pride on your uh, on your marks. Get set. Go. Keeping it moving. I think we have about seven packs left. And they super glued these packs together. They go to OCG in Japan. There's that. Sui Jean, whatever that card is. And go pride Nitro. And whatever that dragon is. I feel like it's a Manadium card. It looks like it belongs to Manadium archetype, to be wholeheartedly honest. Alrighty. Come on. Where are you? I believe it's an Exodia arm that's in here. It might be a leg. Ryoku Soul. That one. That one. And another. This is our secret. This actually doesn't even look like a secret rare. It, looks, it just looks like a silver foil hollow. This doesn't have the prismatic foiling on it at all. Oh, there it does. It's just hard to see. You know what? It's on his body and not the body of the card. Okay. But there's a secret rare. So we pull this card in both secret and ultra. Another thing about OCG packs, in case you didn't know, or this is the first time seeing uh, seeing this, that uh, cards in the OCG, and one of the big reasons why they're so much cheaper than they are in the TCG, is that they come in multiple rarities. So you can get a card in a common, a rare, a super rare, an ultra rare, and a secret rare, depending on the set. But So they come in so many different rarities, it's really easy for them to be inexpensive um, compared to the, to the TCG, where you have to wait for a reprint, for it to either go down in rarity or go up in rarity, um, whichever one they see fit. But generally, when you get a when you get a booster box, it is what it is, for the exception of the rarity collection, and you just have to deal with it. There's that. Where did how did I get here? There, and then another ultra. We've pulled this one already. I think we pulled this in a secret though. It's in, in this back pile somewhere around here. Last three packs. Sad face, no Dark Magician Girl, no Exodia, come on. One of you packs, please have Exodia in it. Come on, come on, and nothing. Another Go Pride Captain. Last two packs. Ah, come on. All right, Go Pride, Go T. Another Garura. This is the second Garura we pulled in Super Rare. In these two boxes. Actually, I think that's the second one we put in, the, in this box. Because I don't think we, I pulled, I know we grabbed another Garura, but I think both of them came from the same box. All right, last pack. Come on, guys. Come on, please. Exodia, last pack magic. Come on. And no, unfortunately not. No Exodia piece in this box for me. We are really going to end 2023 with no pieces of Exodia from any of the OCG boxes which is kind of upsetting, but we did get Garura. And there's that one, that one. Oh yeah, there's the Ultra in that one. So yeah, two Garuras. The Gay Guardian Secret Rare. Why did I put this one here as a rare? Yeah, we pulled the same Ultra. So we pulled two of the same Ultras, two of the same Supers, and then of course the two other cards and two different rarities, we pulled the Ultra and the Secret Rare in this particular goatee card. But, oh well, that's going to do it for this particular um, box opening for the World Premiere 2023, which is more like World Premiere for Japan because these cards are old to us in America and in TCG. Still no Exodia piece in sight, so hopefully one of the other two boxes that I have that I'll be opening up during the week will have one of those Exodia pieces. It'll be older, and unfortunately I'm tired of buying these boxes because I don't want to spend them anymore. I just want to get the Exodia piece and be done with it, but... The fates are cruel, and they just want me to suffer. So we'll continue that. Hopefully, I can at least get one before the end of the year, so that way I can retire one box and move on to another. But it, we'll see what happens when that time gets here. But in the meantime, if you like this video, if you like going over these cards in the OCG, like I said, we do OCG and TCG box openings. Um, the next one should be, I know, um, the premium pack just came out in OCG, which should have the gold, the red, in the blue rarities, I believe that has Sky, um, a Sky uh, Strikers. <laughs> I can't speak. A Sky Strikers reprint in it. Um, and I can't remember anything else. There's Phantom Nightmare, which is the next core set in the TCG that comes out in February, but we're going to open OCG box of that next month. Um, approximately a couple weeks before the premiere, so see if we can get an early box for that. And then 
What else? Is there anything else in the OCG coming out? Oh, the Duelist, uh, the 25th anniversary Duelist box, whenever that becomes available. That one usually comes out the last week of the, of the year, so that'll be next week, so during Christmas week is when that'll release in Japan. So we'll have at least three new OCG box openings primed and ready for you in January, basically the start of the new year. Once I can order them and get them, um, then I'll be doing that, which means I probably need to do that soon because I believe um, Japanese go on holiday sometime in January, if my mind serves me correctly. Um, if you happen to know that before I do remember, um, let me know. Cause I remember the Chinese, I know Chinese new year was in February ish and things got delayed around shipping around that time. And I don't know if uh, Japan has something like that in the start of the year, but that's all semantics and I digress. But anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, be prepared for any of the future videos coming down the way. We do have a couple more episodes of Password Playlist coming before the end of the year and a couple more unpacks. And if you guys have any recommendations, anything in terms of music you want us to listen to or things that you want to see improve in the channel, things, new content that you'd like to see, or even some packs that you'd like to see open for, um, for you guys as well, leave them in the comments, leave us a message, let us know. Um, so that way we can try to get that done and improve throughout 2024 and continue down our journey. But in the meantime, King's F here. No time to explain. Till next time, I'm out. See you guys later.